Preludes is a collection of musical compositions and corresponding graphic scores. Each of these compositions holds a secret. If you're able to find and decode the secret, you get a reward. And we keep going. All of the compositions are algorithmically generated, but I've created a framework, a series of frameworks for the generation of those. Things like what tonality is the composition going to have? What kind of rhythmic structure is the composition going to have? The musical compositions then draw a score. And those scores are inspired by a series of composers who started working with equipment and working in genres that traditional music notation did not lend itself to. The Preludes project combines a lot of my different interests. When I was younger, alongside my education in art, I actually trained as a classical music composer. I also have a deep interest in cryptography, thinking about all of the ways in which you can hide one thing in something else. And this actually has a long tradition in music. People like Michael Hayden famously had a cipher and had mapped out these notes correspond to these letters. You analyze the music, you get the message. Uh, Brahms did a similar thing. Messian you know, also had an encryption scheme. And the idea is in, in Preludes you have these secrets. Once you have them, you are entitled to a free copy of Cyclops. The beginning of Cyclops is an LP record. And if you own one of the Preludes assets, you find your three words, you're able to claim one of those LP records and we'll ship it to you. Cyclops is a really multi-dimensional project. It's more like a journey a journey through history, a journey through cryptography, through open source intelligence. It's a journey that asks the participants to work together to try to solve a series of increasingly challenging problems. At the same time, it's telling you a story about the origins of psychological operations, deception operations, on one hand, and the origins of things like artificial intelligence, cognitive psychology, on the other. So the bigger project spans these different media, these different ways of interacting with art objects. I wanted to build something you could look at, listen to, you can enjoy it. Then it opens up, something else reveals itself. And when you figure that out, something else reveals itself and it starts to take you on a trip into uh, a different world.